Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to learn about Power Automate basics and this time we are going to learn about flow types. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal to know about different types of flow types. So how we will go to the flow site? We need to open the browser and over here we need to write flow.microsoft.com. The moment you will type this URL, then it will take you to your flow portal. You need to specify the credential over here. For my case, I have already logged in that the reason it haven't asked me. Now to create the flow, we need to come over here and click on create. And over here, you will find different kinds of options to create the flow and over here you will find six types of flows that we will discuss one by one so the first flow over here is the automated cloud flow and this flow trigger automatically on the basis of the events so for example if you want to perform any activities whenever you create a new item within your sharepoint list so such kind of a scenario you can think about automated cloud flow so if you go inside automated cloud flow you will find that there are many triggers the example which i quoted now that is specific to the sharepoint list but it is not only sharepoint list you can create automated cloud flow on any of the trigger which is given over here you will find many option when a new response is submitted this is related with the microsoft form and you will notice over here for which application this trigger is related with for example, the first option you are seeing over here when a response is submitted, you are finding over here Microsoft form. So that means it is related with this application. Another trigger we are having when an item is created. So it is related with the SharePoint. So this trigger is related with SharePoint. Another one is also related with SharePoint. So you can find all the information over here regarding triggers and you will also find information about for which application it is associated with. So it is giving us many of the option. If you want to search for any of the trigger, you can come over here and you can search for it. For example, you want to search create. So over here you will find that all the options which is related with the create trigger that you will get it over here if you want to search for a specific application trigger that also you can do for example if you want to search all the triggers which is associated with the sharepoint application so you can do it over here you will write sharepoint and then you will see it over here it will return you all the triggers which is associated with the SharePoint. If you want to search for OneDrive, then you will find that all these triggers are associated with the OneDrive teams. So all these triggers are associated with the teams. So this is about automated cloud flow. Now let's proceed further. The another flow we are having is the instant cloud flow. This flow also known as manual flow as well as button flow. So guys, the instant cloud flow triggers manually. So what are the options we are getting over here? For example, we are getting manually trigger a flow using the flow button for mobile. We are also getting when a message is get selected within Microsoft team, then you can also execute this flow or you can also trigger the instant cloud flow. And all these triggers are based on user action so you can think of like suppose that if you want to create an application within power apps and from the power app application on a click of a button you want to call a flow so that you can do it with the help of instant cloud flow so this is about instant cloud flow now the third type of flow we are having is the scheduled cloud flow so let's look into that so guys the scheduled cloud flow triggers based upon the schedule which you have defined so over here you will find that it has given us option so when you want to execute this flow so you can select upon the frequency of your execution monthly weekly daily hourly minute wise or second wise however you want you can do it and with the help of this interface you can define the schedule for the execution of a schedule flow and suppose if you are selecting weekly then it gives you option on which day you want to execute. So this is about a scheduled flow. Let's proceed further. So guys, the fourth type of flow we are having is the desktop flow. And with the desktop flow, you can do the robotic process automation for the desktop. And this flow is very powerful. Wherever if you don't have any API available, then in that scenario, you can think of designing the desktop flow. So what I mean to say that, Let's understand with an example. Suppose that if you are having a tabular information which is existing within an HTML page and there is no way to grab the information using REST API from the data source. So in this scenario, the flow is very powerful to extract the information from the HTML page 
which is existing in the form of a table, HTML table. With the help of TextorFlow, you can design the web scrapper that will scrap all the data from the HTML table and you can use that data wherever you want. If you want to use that data inside the Excel, you can do it with the help of TextorFlow. So whatever you want to do, you can do it. And with the desktop flow, it gives us an application also. With the help of that, you can record the actions. And that is what you are seeing over here. If you click on launch app and it will open the power automate. Let me open it. It is asking me the credential over here. So over here, you will see that it has given me a desktop app to create the desktop flow. And with the help of this app, we can record the actions and then we can design whatever we want to design. So this is about the desktop flow. The next flow type we are having is the business process flow and this flow basically guides user through a multi-step process when you want to build the guided experience for your process. And this flow is very intuitive where it gives us the visual indicator that tells people where they are in the business process. So to understand this, let's look into one of the example over here. So guys, this is one of the example of business process flow and you will see that it has multiple stages within this particular flow application. Over here, you will see that this is used for opportunity sales process and within this process, there are multiple stages. First one is the qualify, second one is the develop, third one is the proposed. So there are multiple stages within this business process flow and that is what I am talking about. It is very much visually intuitive. It clearly gives the information what action you have to take in the particular stage. For example, in this step, you need to specify all these values and then it is giving the option to proceed to the next stage. So guys, this is about business process flow type. Let's proceed for the next type of flow we are having is the process advisor which is recently being introduced and this flow is used to evaluate and optimize your existing processes and tasks. And prior to using this particular flow, you have to perform the data mining activities on your current process. And before starting the mining task, you need to create a process, record the activities and prepare the recording for analysis. This is very useful whenever if you want to improve your processes. So guys, now we are done with the discussion about different types of flows within Power Automate. And this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this session. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.